sacrifice it's not about money if you can prove to god you are higher than everything you gave me then he will keep lifting you are we together there are some of you the reason why you cannot see the hand of god on your life is that there is something else on your head so his hand cannot rest there when his hand comes it finds out that something else has replaced his hand on your head when he comes he finds money on your head there are others when he comes he finds fame on your head there are others when he comes he finds lust on your head and he says no no you must get rid of these things then my hand can come upon you is someone ready to pray father the grace to do your will the grace to obey the grace to plunge myself in worship and the grace for sacrifice re re uh, release that grace upon me please pray pray we're taking a minute or two and we're done Shabarato Kabareto secrecy. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known with you. The glory of the risen Lord. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known with you. The glory of the risen Lord. Let the weight of your glory cover us let the light let the truth of your kingdom let it reign in us let the way of your glory let the way of your glory you are praying just a minute and we're done your name is to be hallowed ah, your name is to be hallowed through my life one more time for stretching your time but I just want to make one call and then we're done tonight I'm not going to ask you to come out but I sense in my heart the Lord is saying I am looking for someone here who is prepared to be a sacrifice I want to use you as, as a spectacular display of my glory but there are still things you are withholding there are still things you are withholding and the Lord wants you to cry in the next one minute. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but hear me, I'm speaking by the Spirit of God. There are many of you, there are relationships you love more than God. There are business deals you love more than God. No. This realm of sacrifice, there are few people who have gotten there. There are pastors, maybe listening to me. The secret is not just your prayer. The secret is not just your fasting. You have prayed, Jesus prayed. You have fasted, Jesus fasted. You studied the word. But when your all becomes poured like a drink offering, you have approached a, a realm in the spirit where you will see the hand of God. I want to give you the next one minute. I apologize for stretching the time. Whether you want to lie down, whether you want to cry, you're going to say, Lord, 
this is me all of me I surrender everything everything I surrender all to you everything I give to you minute with God I'm withholding nothing I surrender all to you everything I give don't be ashamed of your tears. It is the hand of God you desire. Listen to what you are saying. I'm withholding nothing. Sing it. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Will you give yourself away? That's a question that God is asking you tonight. Will you give yourself away so he can use you? You answer now. I give myself away. Was you pray? Just take a minute. You are not wasting your time. Father, every idol and everything that has stopped your hand from resting, resting upon my life, resting upon my finances. Ah, your, your arms are not too short that you cannot bring deliverance you have seen it from scripture that the hand of God can create the hand of God can sustain the hand of God can judge the wicked the hand of God can bring deliverance it can bring redemption the hand of God can lift man Hear me, man of God. The secret to being in ministry is to forget about ministry and focus on Him, loving Him, giving your all, pouring your all. Then you will find ministry. Businessman, some can trust in horses and chariots. But when God's hand decides to bring you a thing, it preserves, it keeps. For someone here, you have tried and tried and tried. God brought you to the Oasis Conference because he's saying, stop. This, this up and down does not give God glory. Waking up in the morning and sleeping late in the night, hustling through life only to eat the bread of sorrow. Help those under the anointing. Please help that lady so she doesn't enjoy herself. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. Sing it one more time, then I make it call. is calling you you've trusted in things of lesser value but he's showing you the path to the hand of God 
the hand of God is not just the name of a conference it's an experience that you can have and carry it can become your habitation your reality but only if your heart is stayed on revealing Jesus seeing that his will is birthed perpetually through your life that you walk in obedience that you live a life of worship huh. Paul and Silas they prayed but when they sang the Bible tells us that his mighty power came descended upon that prison room and all doors open hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of the lord tomorrow we'll have the time to minister to people i know that there are people who have come with several needs come tomorrow with your heart opened i will share with you a few more secrets and then god will grant us grace and will experience his mighty hand but watch this I'm standing taking one or two more minutes for the sake of someone who came to church right now perhaps you were invited perhaps you are following online perhaps you attended all the sessions before my time here and in the midst of this discussion tonight the Spirit of the Lord began to speak to you for you it is not even surrender of things it is surrender of your entire life whoever told you you are at a loss when you give everything to Jesus whoever told you you are at a loss when you hand over your life you have mismanaged it you keeping it yourself why don't you trust one who has the track record pastor not taught us that he has a track record of keeping his word he will not break it because of you I want to give someone an opportunity two calls in one number one you are saying apostle I've heard many preachers make altar calls but this has come very different tonight and i truly want to make jesus lord of my life indeed persons number two you are saying apostle mine is that i am determined to surrender all i remember making the altar call but i cannot say in truth that my life i cannot call myself a child of god i don't want you to be ashamed there is absolutely nothing to be ashamed of wherever you are in this place I'm going to count one to five from the farthest place in this auditorium to all of the aisles I want you to summon that courage I'm looking for one sincere person come and stand before me here I want to pray for you run like there's fire on the mountain come and stand I begin my call now one you are good you are kind you are more than these help me lost for words keep coming let's celebrate them as they come i like this part there is nothing you cannot do there's no mountain you cannot move if you have said it then you will do it you have a track record of keeping your word you're not about to stop doing it oh lord now ladies and gentlemen hear me some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears this is what it takes to have the hand of God rest upon an individual I salute you for the courage defying all odds and coming before Jesus and I'm standing on the stage here with Pastor Nat I want to lead you to make this prayer whether as a first time prayer or you are genuinely sincerely rededicating your heart to Jesus 
lift your right hand may i request whether you're kneeling or standing i want to see your hands lifted and then i pray with you say this as loud as you can mean it from the depth of your heart say lord jesus one more time say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word if you're joining them please come i see some more people say tonight i have heard your word i need you in my life tonight i receive you into my heart as my savior my lord and my king i declare that the power of sin i see some people coming from the overflow i i, I presume please come and join them very quickly thank you thank you for the courage god bless you let's give them a big god bless you come there's always room at the cross say it again i receive you into my heart as my savior my lord my king let your hand rest upon me for redemption for salvation for deliverance i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb amen help them i want to pray for you now please just help those under the anointing i stretch my hands over all of you who are in front here and in the name of jesus the one whose hand we have prayed that it rests upon us i'm praying for you that everything that is not of god around your life destroying your destiny keeping you in sin i pray for you by the authority of scripture and upon your confession be set free now be set free now in the name of jesus i call you bona fide recipients of the life of god and i decree and i declare over you that the power to live a victorious christian life is released upon you you go and excel from tonight the hand of god rests upon you in the name of jesus amen and amen All right, so please remain. Please remain. Pastor Nath has a word for you. Just, just a moment. Just a moment. Just remain. Usually you would be going, but yes. Um, I don't know what Apostle is about to do next, but while I was sitting there, the Spirit of God just quickened my heart. And um, people who have stepped out to go, I really just wonder where they are going to. You know, you are, you are, there's such an awesome presence here. This conference is not every day. And what we're about to do is very pivotal to your lives. Now, Pastor Peter, come up. Um, I just wanted them to stay here and be a part of it. Now, when we talk about the hand of God, one of the ways I believe it manifests is in the prophetic. Say the prophetic. Yesterday, I told you how I got an impression to wear white. No, please, please, wait, 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 wait. So, we've prayed for this conference. So, we, so whatever you are seeing, when men of God come here, there is a spirit of prophecy already. So, it was impressed upon my heart. I wore a white shoe. I was at the door, and I felt a, a strong impression to wear the black. As I came in here, I realized. I mean, I. I well, it's not every time you, you read meanings into those things, but whenever the Holy Spirit quickens you, then you take it seriously. And Dr. Sarkoe said, oh, you are dressed like me. And then Pastor Peter said, oh, we are dressed. And then I got that quickening again. And I was praying here in the Spirit, and the Spirit of God impressed upon us to, to speak life. Now, I'm sitting down there again today. Before coming, I got a, a witness by Uche's black shirt. You know, you sent me a white one. So I was about to wear the white one. The Spirit of God just brought you by vision to me. So I knew that I was supposed to dress like this. I didn't tell Apostle how to dress. And the speaker of today is dressed this way. 
and Pastor Peter who wore white yesterday is dressed this way. So this is not some arranged stuff. Now, I ask questions. So Lord, why, why this again? And then while Apostle spoke from Exodus 3, 19 to 20, please put up the picture of yesterday that we had put up the picture for a witness. You know, that, and I, that image came back to me. And while Apostle quoted Exodus 3, 19 to 20, please put Exodus 3, 19 to 20. Don't leave today until I say leave. Okay? He says, um, I am, and I am sure that the king of Egypt will not let you go. No, no, not by a mighty hand. And I will stretch out my hand and smite Egypt with all my wonders which I will do in the midst thereof. And after that, he will let you go. I had a str strong impression to have us pray that prayer again. And then the apostle will declare that whatever represents Egypt in your life, that the Egyptians you've seen today, you will see them no more. We will stretch our hands and the man of God would speak it. So yesterday we spoke life. Today he's going to anything that represents Egypt in your life. We're going to serve them notice. Amen. So that's why I asked them to stand. So, Apostle, if you if you are done with what you amazing, doing. amazing by the Spirit, and and that is true. What what um, Pastor Nat is saying. Sometimes it's called the ministry of signs and wonders. God does certain things so that people will know as a sign that He's in their midst. Are we together? And when you see Him, you must discern what He's saying. And so, in one minute, I know that our time is gone, but these are very prophetic moments whatever represents egypt in your life i want you to mention it before the lord and say father it must live now go ahead don't be silent whatever represents egypt for some of you egypt means bankruptcy of spiritual fire for some egypt means shame and reproach for some of you egypt means bondages of all sorts Please don't be silent. I'd like you to pray. We're agreeing by faith now. We're going to be making declarations by the Spirit. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Exodus 14 13. I want to speak over your life now. Exodus 14 13. There are two more keys I'm going to give you tomorrow, and then I'll show you something else. But the Bible says, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you this day. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, he says, Ye shall see them no more forever. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, financial Egyptians, spiritual Egyptians, career Egyptians, Egyptians that hinder fruitfulness by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we command that they live your life now. We command that they disappear. Help that lady. Disappear from your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In church on Sunday, I preached from 1 Samuel chapter 4 and verse 21. The statement, Ichabod. I want to cancel that still in line with this over someone. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and she, the she there is the wife of Phinehas. She named the child Ichabod, saying, The glory is departed from Israel. I don't know who is it, the glory of your destiny has left. I decree and declare right now in this prophetic atmosphere, Paruska Jebedes, standing with the man of God, we release our faith. Right now, every mark upon your head called Ichabod, we wipe it right now. Wipe it right now. Evil marks upon your head. 
demonic marks upon your destiny that has taken the glory from your life. Let it be wiped away now. 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 Instead of that name Ichabod, by prophecy tonight, we call you Beulah. We call you Hephzibah. We call you Beulah. We call you Hephzibah. We call you Beulah. We call you Hephzibah. No more shall this proverb be used in your life that the glory has departed in the name of Jesus. And finally, for some of you, as a sign, this night before the day is done, God will give you a strange testimony. My God will give you a strange visitation. You will see the hand of God practically. Some of you over your finances. Some of you over your health. Some of you supernatural emails. Supernatural calls. God will be writing off age-long problems. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Before I take my leave, let me encourage you. Please listen. Tomorrow is going to be a very prophetic time in this place. And I'm repeating again that please you come. I'm lending my voice with Pastor Nat. And that also includes those who are connecting from across the globe. Distance is no barrier. This can be your chance. Some of you probably missed Hallelujah Challenge. You didn't have the opportunity to participate. Now here is an opportunity that God is giving. It is no coincidence. God is a God of mercy. His hand is coming again. There are whole families that need to connect tomorrow. Whole families, not just individuals. Father, mother, siblings. There are some of you who need to come with your loved ones. Pastor Knight, may I request? Is it alright if I request that the people come with prayer requests tomorrow? How many of you believe in answered prayers? Now, here's what I want you to do. I don't know how those online will participate. I'm, I'm sure there's a way. Those online, um, there should be a link or there should be a way to send your request. One of the things we're going to be doing tomorrow night is that everything you know that is inconsistent with the will of God, whether a health condition, whether a family problem, please don't spare. Write it down. Even for your loved ones who are abroad, you can call them and tell them fire is burning here. The hand of God is resting upon us write them down we're going to collate them and we're going to lay hands on them and the mighty hand of god tomorrow let the god that answers by fire may he be our god are we in agreement on that for tonight may the lord bless you you will experience his mighty hand like we said some of you before this time tomorrow you will only return to give thanks because god would have so visited you in the name of jesus christ amen and amen Thank you for staying to the end of this video. Thank you. We are very, very appreciative of your presence in this community. This is a community of believers. We are here to enlighten ourselves through the word of God, through practical life applicable teachings. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel. If you have not liked this video, Please just take two seconds and just hit that like button and share this video with others to bless someone just as you have been blessed by these videos. It is only God that can do the impossible. And when you are faced with impossibility in your life, the only place to run to, the only person to run to is God. And that is why we encourage ourselves to keep studying the word of God, to keep praying, fasting, to keep meditating on the word of God so that God will come through for us. Have a nice time. God bless you. See you in another of our videos. And there are so many videos that we have posted so far. Go through our channels. Go through our channel and check on our videos and see how impactful they are going to be in your life. Thank you. God bless you. Keep shining for Jesus. Keep shining for God. Peace.